Hi guys, I'm Daniela with Young Entertainment. It's so great to chat with you both today. Hey Daniela, I'm so excited to talk to you about Davy and Jonesy's Locker. Hi, I'm Veronica Stoikowska. I play Davy in Davy and Jonesy's Locker, and this is Young Entertainment. So we're gonna jump in. If you were to describe the show in three emojis, what would they be? Let me look at them here so I'm making sure I'm accurate. <laughs> I would choose the dizzy guy, like that one. Ooh, <gasps> like, I feel like that's like in the portal is the like the guy mm. going through being crazy. And then I think our signature one is like the little blue squiggle. They put that on all the press. I don't know what it means, but now in my brain, it means Davy and Jonesy's locker. So everyone needs to trademark that. Do you need me to show you? Do you know what I'm talking about? I want to see it if you have it. That's pretty yes, cool. Yes, I do. Like you have your own emoji. I'm also realizing I'm showing you my phone. The last text I sent was to my roommate because a raccoon crawled in our window and I said, I screamed, he was so fat. I'm talking about a raccoon. I'm talking about a raccoon. <laughs> That's um, awesome. That's hilarious. Okay, wait, a raccoon, but he, so he escaped and you guys are safe, I assume. That's scary. Yes, he crawled into our window and then was on my desk when I came home. What? And yeah, he's gone now. Anyway, oh. that one. Cute, yes. Blue squiggly. And then I like... um. The little, the girls holding hands. Let me find it. There's like two cutie girls. These two. I'm not talking about the little twins. It might be a couple. I don't know. But I think that's us. That's cute. I love it. How cute. Veronica, what oh. about you? Yeah. I The first one was the blue squiggly. So we're, we're, we're thinking the same thing. Um, I love a little sparkle because I think that's like the magic of, um, yeah, the real life magic and the friendship magic Aww. and i put the little science guy but as but my fourth one was the girls holding hands so pretty aligned oh my gosh twinning yeah. i love it okay so on your journey through time if you were to have a disney sidekick which would it be and why um okay this is my answer I was thinking that i was like i need someone who balances my energy the same way that veronica does and I think the closest I can get to Veronica is like Olaf. Is that, Aww. do you do you think that that's, okay. I'm not offended. I'm, I'm taking this I think as a compliment. compliment. Yeah. That's so cute. I love it. Okay, what about you, Veronica? I put um, Jeannie from Aladdin, the Robin Williams version, because oh rest in peace, love, love, love Robin Williams. And also, GD grants wishes, which means I could get a million dollars. That's so fun. Okay, so what was the most challenging part of this project and how did you overcome it? For me, the most challenging part for me would have probably just been the pace that we were working at. I've never, I've, I've been on set and been in things before, but never something that we... When we got cast, I was still in theater school and I had to leave theater school to film the show. I still graduated and everything, but it was like in my last month of class. And so I had to like finish all my assignments, prep the lines, get to set. And then you're you're never ahead of the game. You're always, you're always kind of where you need to be. You're learning lines for the next day mm -hmm. routinely. So not being able to do my like very type A prep everything beforehand was like definitely a learning curve, but I'm glad because I feel like um, the more recently you learn things kind of the more natural they come out because you don't have time to overthink anything. You've only had the lines in your brain for like a day or so. So That's so impressive. That is really impressive. Very cool. What about you, Veronica? Yeah, it was a, it was a marathon. It was a very crazy. Like we would have like be running on five hours of sleep and then be in every single scene and, and it was uh, a lot, but it was great that I had Jalen and we could do it together. And also I am the worst, like I'm always laughing. Like I always break. So that was a big, I'd say that like I, whenever something's funny, even if I'm doing it, I'm like, this is so funny. And I have to laugh. And like, I have to like show someone that I'm like, I love what you're doing. And it just makes me, I laughed a lot. So that was, yeah, that that's hard for me, especially on a comedy. Funny. So do you think the blooper reel, like the outtakes would be insane? A thousand percent. They're 
I'm trying to think of, oh yeah, there's this one specific moment where we, uh, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, but there's just, am I allowed to say stuff? I don't know, but. It depends when this would. Balance beam. Yes, exactly. Okay, I'll just say that. Yeah, the the world of balance beam. And (laughs) we were kind of in these crazy costumes and I was just looking at Jalen and we were just doing it and (laughs) just like couldn't stop laughing. I was like, this is the most ridiculous thing I've done in my entire life. And like, we just could not keep it together. But I don't even know how they got a take because it was like, we were crying, like, and we had makeup on and they kept like, we kept messing up the makeup. So we were laughing so hard. That is so funny. Those are like some of the best moments in life though. Like when you're belly laughing with your bestie, that's the best I think of life. So I love that. Now I like really can't wait to see the balance beam scene. That's so fun. (laughs) What is each of your characters GRWM? So you're get ready with me. And what was like, did you have a get ready with me routine to get into character each day? I absolutely had a Jonesy playlist that I would listen to all the time. And it's also this process I found very easy to get into character because we were in character every single day for three months. It wasn't like the longest break you'd have was two days. And so you're not away from Jonesy for a long period of time. Um, And it also you'll notice when you watch the show that we're in the same outfit for every episode which is super useful actually because you're like this is jonesy like there's no variation of it this is the one thing it's like putting on a i don't know like a full body costume with the you know i'm thinking of those like cute anyways yeah Um, so that was useful and my hair takes forever to do so i would have like a good two hours to sit there and just my my lines and that would be your time to get into it So like, okay, if your hair takes two hours, what time did you have to get up every day to make this all happen? So the set from where I was getting picked up, it was, it's about like half an hour, 40 minutes from where I live. And my pickup would be anywhere between 5am and 7am. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So as long I would, as long anywhere between four and 6am, I'd be waking up usually. Yeah. What a trooper. That's pretty amazing. I'm sure like after the three months was over, you were like, I'm going to sleep now. No one bothered me. I slept so much after. <laughs> so much. That's so fun. Okay, Veronica, did you have a GRWM for your character? Okay, so it kind of started at night. So I'd get home from set and I, I, it'd usually be like 11 p.m., 11.30, shower, go to bed with wet hair because I didn't have time to do anything then wake up my hair's crazy get in get in the van go to work same thing sleep sleep on the back end of the, sleep in the back end of the van a little rest for half an hour get to set um, have a little tea and um yeah get my hair and makeup ready but overall i mean what i find most similar with davy and myself is like i feel like we're like the kind of girls that we're like we wake up and we're like I have the perfect idea for the perfect outfit and the perfect look. And then halfway through, I'm like, yeah, I think that's pretty good. You know, and you just like kind of give up and you're like, well, hey, it's not exactly how I pictured it because I'm not that model Pinterest model I envisioned. So I'm just gonna, okay. So uh, yeah. And then, and then, yeah, same thing. Just kind of, it's, it's nuts being um, on set every single waking second. So you don't, you just become the character and where's the line and who are you type five. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing because, okay. A little confession here. Sometimes when I watch shows, if it's a character I really like, or really like identify with, I feel like if I watch it, like I binge it, I'll start like acting like that person and talking oh, yeah. like that person. So I feel like you guys probably encountered that in real life, like becoming the characters. Did anybody in your life, like call you out on that? Like, Hey, you're kind of acting different right now or like acting like your character. Nobody called me out on acting like my character, but I had so many like Veronica isms because we were together so much that people were like, because, you know, people like I had friends who followed her on TikTok and stuff and they were like, okay, okay, buddy, (laughs) like take it down a notch. But we were together like 16 hours a day. Like it just happened. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so fun. And you, did you guys know each other before the project or was this like an instant friendship? we are from the same city so i knew her little sister in high school 
So Aww. I knew like, who Veronica was, but this was actually, I think when we met for the first time would have been this, right? I don't yeah. Know yeah. No, no, no. But it is, it is wild that we're from the same, like, Northern Ontario. Tiny, like. <laughs> yeah. Like, we went to the same, I did improv at the same studio that Jalen did, like, dance and acting at and, um, I don't know. I think, I think it just, just the place that we are from, there's nothing really going on. So you kind of go crazy and it creates the greatest artists of all. <laughs> and apparently you can tell cause we're crazy in the same way that they can, you know what I mean? It's yeah. a, it's not a coincidence. Oh yeah. my gosh. That's so fun. Okay. And then I do, we have like two more minutes. So I have two more questions I want to ask you. Um, and I'll kind of group them into one question and you can kind of pick how you want to answer it. But I, I want to know, what is one thing that you each learned from working with, with each other slash what is your funniest behind the scenes off camera story of just like something that happened on set or off set that was hilarious? Okay. I have these locked and loaded. Yeah. Um, Veronica, you have like, you're so good at following your impulses and it's so rewarding and it's something I'm a very like analytical person. I think a lot of before I do. And like, that's actually not always a beneficial thing. Like there are so many incredible moments we have in the show and even like in the trailer that not scripted, just you like going with the scene. And there's literally ones where you can see me almost like break beside you. And so definitely I need to, I learned from you that it's good to take risks. Yeah, you can never oh. take too many risks. Um, and my funny moment behind the scenes is when our lovely, lovely director Bruce got us um, smoothies to have on set. And <laughs> we were drinking them for the first time and I was like, mm, this is delicious what's in it and it had spirulina <laughs> and it had spirulina in it and veronica was <laughs> like mm. <laughs> i think that's that it's the um, it's that springula mm. <laughs> that's springula stuff that's, that's and i was like you mean spirulina like what are you talking about? it's for some reason it rewired in my head that spirulina is called springula i wasn't even doing a joke i was like oh, it's springula like for a whole day, I was like, oh, I was like, it's, uh, they're like, I was like, bananas, blueberries, spinach, springula. <laughs> I do and that now. I, yeah, at the end of the day, I was like, I, d I thought she was talking about something I didn't know. I was like, did you mean to say? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my yeah. God. I, yeah, there's a lot of those, those Veronica isms that we just can't shake. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, still, I was like at my yoga place here in New York. And I went and I was like, I'll take the blueberries, spirit, springles, spirulina. <laughs> I'm like reading it. I'm reading it. And I want to say springula. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's so funny. We should just all call it that from now on. I love it. So you good. got to roll the R's. <laughs> <laughs> she had a little accent with it. Yeah. Like, What's that yeah. from? I think it's like some sort of like European, like health benefit, like kind of food. Um, <laughs> Okay, Ooh, my turn. Yeah. Yes. Um. Okay. Well, as Jalen said, I'm gonna just just go off that a little bit. We are kind of like our characters, where she's very type A and really organized. The iPad kid. She bought. She, that was that was the. She bought herself an iPad and was was writing down tactics and and thoughts of the character. All these things. I'm closing my eyes in the chair beside her. I'm just like, oh, is it? Oh, what's and I'm like walking to the thing. I'm like, what scene is this? No <laughs> idea. I am reading it, learning it on the fly. And then and truly, I was like, especially at the beginning, I was so intimidated by Jalen, just how organized and and like just straight out of theater school, you're coming off and it was like so impressive. And I was like, oh, right. I was like, I knew all this stuff at one point, And now I'm just like, I'm just not, uh, uh, I'm, I try to be type A, but I'm just the least organized person in the world. So I really have to think on my feet. So I don't know if it's good or not, but um, yeah, just, just organizing, but also um, Jane's professionalism and the fun that we had. I think it was never, we, we had some hard times on set definitely and, and had both cried to each other on numerous accounts, but um, overall it was like such a joyful, fun experience and that was 
yeah so some stuff like that so yeah like stuff like that and That's then so um, yeah oh um hmm well we would always make up songs on set and that was really fun so the one that i just remember today i was like looking through just just you know recounting memories and i was like oh right I, so we'd sing this song every time that we'd roll because a thing that they say in, on film is pictures of that means like we're, we're pretty much like ready to go so for some reason one day i was like pictures up pictures up we're ready to roll <laughs> and we did it every time and it was like this weird thing was happening where we would just finish each other's sentences and have um, numerous songs. I think we did another song. Oh, that I can't say here, but there's another song. <laughs> I also love that you're like, we sang the song when it just started with you singing every time and me being like, Veronica, I swear to God, if I hear that song one more time. But then it just got to the point that I started doing it and you're like, at that point, you're like, okay, this is just how it goes now. Like, I can't. I think find Nico it sang it too at some point and it just was. Everyone. Pictures up, pictures up, we're ready to roll. Uh... And eventually the crew was like, what are you saying? What are you singing? Uh, it's giving Hannah Montana a little bit. Like that's the vibe I got from that little melody. Mm. I love it. I'm going to be, that's going to be in my head all day now. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's so funny. Well, thank you both so much. This was such a wonderful interview. Bye. It was so great to talk to you. Bye. I'll talk to you later. And don't forget to subscribe to Young Entertainment.